Let's take a look at this example. We're supposed to convert this trinomial to the quadratic trinomial. I'm going to write b to the fourth as b to the second power, inside the parenthesis, raised to the second power, minus 2b squared minus 15. I have b squared and b squared. In order to make this problem looking simpler, I'm going to assume that b to the second power is equal x. Let me rewrite this problem and I'm going to write x squared minus 2x minus 15. Next, I'm supposed to perform regular factoring. Remember, the first terms of my factors multiplied by each other are supposed to give me x squared. x times x gives me x squared. Negative sign next to the third term is telling me that signs inside of my factors are different. Next, I have to find what two numbers are multiplied by each other are going to give me negative 15 and two numbers add to each other are going to give me negative 2. These numbers are 3 and negative 5. 3 times negative 5 gives me negative 15. 3 plus negative 5 is going to give me negative 2. Next, remember that we said that x is equal to b squared. In order to get final answer, I'm supposed to replace again x by b squared. That's why I'm going to write b squared plus 3 times b squared minus 5. And this is the solution to my problem. Let's check if this is correct solution. Simply multiply b squared times b squared. This is equal b to the fourth. b squared times negative 5 is negative 5b squared. 3 times b squared is positive 3b squared. 3 times negative 5 gives me negative 15. So I have b to the fourth minus 5b squared plus 3b squared is equal negative 2 b squared minus 15. Take a look what we have got and what we had at the beginning. These two trinomials are identical. So this is the solution to my problem. Let's take a look at this example. In the first term of my trinomial, I have x to the fourth. In the second term, I have x to the second power. Okay, first term I can rewrite as x to the second power and everything raised again to the second power plus 21 x squared minus 100. If I have x squared in the first term and x squared in the second term, I can Assume that my x squared is equal, for example, a. And I'm going to rewrite this trinomial with a in order to make this trinomial looking simpler. So I have a squared. Instead of x squared, I'm going to write a. And I'm going to copy this square. That's why I've got a squared plus 21. And instead of x squared, I'm going to write again a minus 100. Next, I'm supposed to perform regular factoring. Remember, the very first terms of my factors multiplied by each other are supposed to give me a squared. 
That's why I'm going to have A over here and A over here. A times A gives me A squared. Next, I have to look at the sign which is next to the third term. It's negative. It means that signs in my factors are different. Next, I suppose to ask myself what two numbers multiply by each other are going to give me negative 100 and add to each other are going to give me positive 21. These numbers are 25 and negative 4. 25 times negative 4 gives me negative 100. 25 plus negative 4 gives me 21. This is not solution yet. Why? Because we replace x square by a. We have to get back to x square. So instead of a, I'm supposed to write x square. That's why I'm going to write x square plus 25. And I have x square minus 4. But this is not final solution yet. We can factorize this expression further, okay? Because I have x squared minus 4, okay? I'm supposed to use the rule which is called the difference of two squares, okay? The formula which says a squared minus b squared equals a minus b a plus b. So in order to, to factorize this expression completely, I'm supposed to apply that rule. I can rewrite this part as x squared minus 2 squared. And this is simply equal. I have to copy this down. x squared plus 25 times x minus 2 x plus 2. And this is the solution to my problem.